The world has changed tremendously. And we are in need for new models. Sometimes you see the world's not necessarily heading exactly the way it should, not only for your own company, but for the greater good. And that's when dialogue becomes really important. That's when you talk. There's no 99 or 1 percent. It's 100 percent concern around the state of the world. And when you bring those people together, at a minimum, you're going to have a better diagnostic of what's wrong with the world. Being in Davos exposes you to new ideas and challenges your thinking about how you may view something. Where there's change, great opportunity is presented. What we basically have is an ambition gap. We have equality nowhere for women. Why not use the talents of the entire population to address the very considerable needs this world has? Do you think those gathered in this room can be bold enough on these critical issues? It's all about job creation what governments should do or what businesses should do to make sure there will be more jobs. How do you really actually create jobs? Growth doesn't come at the expense of financial responsibility, social justice, and full respect. It's one thing for you to sit back and sort of theorize how your industry might work with another industry. It's wholly another thing to sit down with people in that industry so they can understand your issues and you can understand their issues and together you can create paths forward. It's a platform for new ideas to be put forward, for old ones to be resuscitated. You can debate new solutions, new approaches to some of the intractable problems of our time. And it will make a big difference. We really need a new framework which can make sure the world can reach a strong balance and a sustainable development. Davos is strongest when it is opening up the process to a moral conversation. You have to be an inclusive leader, which means a willingness to take inputs from all sorts of different places, different people, different, different perspectives. Let us listen to young people. This is the most powerful generation ever had in the human history. They are capable, they want to do things, contribute, add to the society. Let's use that power to make that changes. People are going to have to invent their own job. And I think the young people can actually participate very actively in that process. More people can be active contributors of their own destiny, of their own economy, of their own world. Then auch wir haben gesehen, letztlich schaffen wir es nur gemeinsam. We're the unique in the breadth and the quality of the leaders we can bring together, and if we do our job well, in the intimacy and honesty of the conversations that can come about. It comes down to collaboration. There's no one company, no one country, no one NGO or university that has all the answers. Applying yesterday's tools to tomorrow's problems doesn't find a solution, and we're very encouraged by the new models that are out there. We launched a whole new partnership to figure out better ways to analyze and deal with water shortage issues before they become crises. Working with Bill Gates to ensure the private sector supports the vaccines initiative. I continue to save lives. It's not uh, something difficult to do. Most of the problems in the world are so complex that if we don't try to tackle them in this multi-stakeholder approach, it's going to be very difficult to solve them. This is not the place to actually implement or execute something we agree upon. This is a place to come up with idea. Implementation is each individual. The leverage effect of this group of 2,000 odd people is huge. What we hear and experience here informs our leadership decisions going forward. It's an incredibly important and powerful event.